Nowadays, every service or business is shifting towards the digital technology and have either mobile app or web application. But to use these services, users need to authenticate. So whether you are logging in or signing in with email password or with the social platforms, you sometimes need a second layer of security or second layer of authentication. This second layer of authentication sometimes referred as two-factor authentication or maybe OTP based login. So in this series, we are going to create OTP based login. That means we are going to give an passcode or an one time password to the user either on email or on SMS. Then user need to verify that particular one time password and then we will proceed the user authentication system further. So this series I have divided into three sections. First section, we will create the email authentication. That means when user logged in with email password, he need to rewrite the one time password given on the email. Then only the user is considered as verified or authenticated. In the second section, we will do the same thing, but not with email, but with SMS. So we will use a certain SMS service provider and we will see how we can set up all these things. And the third and the most important part of this series is that we are going to create a system where user doesn't need to create any account on your application. He just want to give the number that means the phone number or the email, he will get the OTP and by writing or uh, by typing that particular OTP user is considered as logged in for certain amount of time or for forever whatever you want so for that i just have a simple fresh installation of laravel and i have started the server so that's why i have this thing here and you can see we don't have created any make auth command so let's go and create a new terminal and by the way if you are thinking how i have done this and this is just a uh, uh, Z shell. I have used Z shell instead of bash on uh, on my Mac. So if you go to uh, oh my Z shell, then you can get that and you can download it from here. So let me just show you quickly. So these things you can just do this, and then you need to configure some of the things, and don't forget to configure the Z shells theme to this one. Uh, which one is that? Yeah, Agnoster. And then uh, you need to download the Powerline font to have this kind of appearance. Nevertheless, let's start the PHP Artisan Make Auth. And here PA is just a alias I have created for PHP Artisan. And if you want to know how I have created this, you just need to check out a video of creating an alias. So let's run this and it's yes, it is created and yeah, we have login and register. So let's go and create a simple database here. So I will say database name is uh, OTP, simple one. User is obviously root and password is nothing. So let's go to SQL Pro and now I'm going to give a new 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 name which is otp and database we need to create so let's just save uh, let's just add to favorite and because we don't have any uh, database called otp we need to create that so it's not going to work here so i think we need to go anywhere and add a database otp and then i can simply go to otp make it otp save changes and yeah this so after this yeah we have everything but you know i just want to create a new field in the user table which is just going to verify and it's just saying that okay the user has verified the otp so let's go to my database and then migration and here we have user table and in this user table i'm going to give uh, boolean so that will be boolean and boolean is is verified simple and obviously that default is 
false so default is false that means user is not verified so this is good so let's run or let's register first here so sarthak and sarthak at bitfumes password is secret and i think i have missed okay i have configured but i have not restarted the server so once more refresh this page and it says base table not found yeah we need to run the migration so php addison migrate done so let's once more refresh and yeah i know secret so we are logged in and if you go to sql pro yes you can see here on the user we have is verified zero this is very important because when the user uh, write the correct otp then we need to make this as one and according to this field we are saying that okay now you can access everything else so this is the way we are going to proceed but one more important thing with this uh, tutorial is that we are going to use the test driven development system that means we are going to approach via test we are we will go and write each and everything for the test and then implement these things so let's start these things from the next episode and i'm very excited for this series because this is a very great series because it will give you some of the new features and how how you can test your code and how you can write your test to develop your project so if you want to learn these things just go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye